now let's see about memory management operators in c++ uh, in c or c++ we have a concept called uh, dynamic memory allocation dynamic memory allocation means allocation of memory during runtime or execution time in c there are four dynamic memory management functions are available ml log function cl log function real log function and free function uh, out of those functions ml log and cl log are useful for allocating the memory during runtime whereas real log function is useful in order to change the size of the memory uh, and free function is useful in order to destroy the memory whereas in c++ we have two memory management operators are there the first one is new operator first one is new operator second one is delete operator new operator is similar to ml or and cl or function whereas delete operator is similar to free function so here new operator is called as memory allocation operator so new is called as memory allocation operator whereas delete operator is called as memory deallocation operator memory deallocation operator first let's see the advantage of new operator uh, new operator is called as memory allocation operator so that means by using new operator we can allocate memory to a pointer variable or we can allocate memory to an array we can allocate memory to a pointer or we can allocate memory to a class so new operator allows us to allocate memory for a pointer variable array structure and a class why because c++ supports all the features of c also c++ also supports uh, structures also so by using new operator we can allocate memory for structures also uh, here new operator is very very simple than uh, ml log and cl log operators if you want to implement if you want to use ml log or cl log operators then we have to use perform type casting and then we have to perform some multiplication n star size of int like that and in order to calculate the size of the corresponding variable we must use size of also whereas here there is no need to use all those things no need of type casting no need of using size of operator all those things will be done by new operator only so that is the advantage of new operator okay uh, now let's see about uh, delete operator delete operator is called as memory deallocation operator uh, delete operator is useful in order to release the memory which was allocated for the variable it may be some pointer variable or array or uh, some structure or some class it may be any variable so with the help of delete operator we can release the memory for the corresponding variable uh, now first let's see the syntax of new operator followed by the syntax of the delete operator and then uh, we will discuss an example program to demonstrate new and uh, delete operators first let's see the syntax of new operator uh, directly let's go for example example of new operator uh, int star a so this is nothing but declaration of a variable in comments declaration of a variable so what is the name of the variable a is the name of the variable next a is equal to new int here with the help of new operator we are allocating memory for a okay so this is nothing but memory allocation for a memory allocation for a so whenever the first statement is executed then for a some memory will be allocated so for a some memory will be allocated this is nothing but address of the a uh, i'm sorry so what is the first statement declaration of the variable so what is the name of the variable a is the name of the variable here the memory will be allocated only when the statement is executed this is not a normal variable if you use a normal variable like this int a then declaration as well as memory allocation will be done simultaneously so a is the name of the variable as well as some two bytes of memory will be allocated for a whereas coming to this pointer variable 
for pointed variable uh, the memory will not be allocated during declaration so here we have to explicitly allocate the memory so a is equal to new int so new operator allocates memory for a and it returns a pointer to the starting address so a pointer will be written here so a is nothing but name of the variable so this a points to the thousand so new operator allocates memory for the variable and it returns a pointer to the starting address of the a here we have only one variable if we have arrays then we have multiple elements so this a will points to that starting address of the array there okay uh, so in this way declaration of the variable as well as memory allocation will be done if we want what we can do is we can combine these two statements in a single statement as int star a is equal to new int so whenever the statement is executed then declaration as well as initialization will be performed in a single statement okay so with the help of this statement we can perform declaration as well as memory allocation in a single statement and we have one more uh, uh, syntax that is we can give some initial value for the variable like this int star a is equal to new int of we have to use a parenthesis if we use a square bracket then it will becomes an array so five elements will be stored so whenever we use this statement then what we happen is in a five will be stored if we place 50 here then here 50 will be stored okay so this is the most commonly used syntax int star a is equal to new int of five so we are here we are doing three things the first thing is declaration of variable the second thing is memory allocation of the variable and the third thing is initializing the variable if we use this statement then in order to perform the initialization we have to write one more statement star a is equal to 50 so whenever the statement is executed then 50 will be placed there instead of that what we can do we can write this statement int star a is equal to new int of 50 uh, so in this way we can allocate memory for a pointer variable as well as uh, uh, a pointer variable now let's see how the memory will be allocated for an array how the map this is an example so in this example what we are doing uh, we are uh, performing declaration and initialization in one statement declaration and memory allocation in one statement and uh, uh, here we are doing some initialization initialization in second statement if we want we can combine these two statements in a single statement as like this int star a is equal to new int of five now let's see how we can perform uh, declaration and uh, memory allocation for an array int star a is equal to new int of five here we have to use a square bracket so whenever the statement is executed then for five elements the memory will be allocated we know that index of an array starts from zero so we can have elements from a of 0 to a of 4 a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 so likewise we can have some elements and uh, let us assume that here the starting address is 1000 whereas here the ending address is some 1010 and it returns a pointer to the starting address of the memory block after allocating the memory the pointer will be written to the starting address of the block here what is the pointer variable name a so a should points to the the starting address that, that is nothing but 1000 let the next element is address 1002 next 1004 next 1006 next 1008 like that okay so now a will be at 1000 memory location okay Uh, next whenever a pointer variable is incremented then it points to the next memory location that means if you perform a plus 1 then it points to 1002 memory location next again if you perform now a will be at which memory location 1002 if you perform a plus 1 then what is the next memory location 1004 the next memory location is not 1003 here here the next element will be stored at 1004 so a will points to the 1004 memory location so if you increment a plus 1 if you increment a now then it points to the next element memory location so like that uh, we can perform the operations now let's see about delete operator uh, delete operator is useful in order to release or destroy the memory which was allocated for that variable so that we can use just that memory for allocating some other variable so we can store some other variable in that memory uh, the syntax for the delete is if it is a normal variable then we can uh, perform deletion as delete a delete b like that whereas if it is an array if it is an array then also we can perform like this only let the name of the array is b 
so delete b so we can perform like this or if you want we can use a sum square brackets here so delete left square bracket right square bracket b so if we execute this statement then the memory which was allocated for b will be destroyed now let's see an example program to demonstrate uh, uh, new and delete operators for new and delete operators let's see a program the first statement here is uh, hash include i go stream dot h why because we are using uh, c out and c in c out and c in are available in i go stream dot h uh, next let the return type of the main function is integer so int main next first let us declare a normal variable perform declaration initialization and uh, declaration memory allocation and initialization in a single statement so let name of the variable is a so int star a is equal to new int of let the initial value of the a is 50 so 50 will be stored in a now let us declare a pointer let us declare a pointer as an array int star b let name of the variable is b so int star b is equal to new int of let us allocate the memory for five elements okay and after that we have to read the elements uh, in order to read the elements let us declare a variable called i next before uh, reading let us display this statement c out less than less than enter array elements enter array elements now let us perform reading for i is equal to 0 let size here is uh, what is the size here 5 is the size so for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus next to c in greater than greater than here we have to use a star operator we will discuss what is star now c in greater than greater than b plus i then after that display the array elements c out less than less than slash n array elements are array elements are let us display with the help of a for loop why because here we are having more than one element so for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus for for displaying we use a c out object c out less than less than star of b plus i next let us display a also a is nothing but a normal variable c out less than less than slash n value of a is value of a is what is the value of a a display the value next release the memory for a and b so delete a next release the memory for b delete b if you want here we can use a square bracket function okay then after that close the main function before that uh, we can write the statement return 0 because if, uh, if the statement is successfully executed then main function returns a value called 0 uh, now let's see how this program will get executed int star a is equal to new int of 5 here declaration memory allocation as well as initialization was done in a single statement so for a some memory will be allocated let the address of a is 1000 so after allocating the memory a will points to the address okay uh, as well as here we perform initialization also what is the initial value of a 50 next statement int star b is equal to new int of 5 so now we have 5 elements so 0 a, b of 0 b of 1 b of 2 b of 3 b of 4 and let the starting address is 1000 next address 1002 1004 1006 1008 okay uh, next after allocating the memory the pointer variable will points to the starting address of the block here what is, what is the starting address 1000 is the starting address so b will point to the 1000 address okay now let's see the next statement int now let's see the statement c out less than less than slash n enter array elements so enter array elements this statement will be printed on the monitor so next statement for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 so i value is 0 0 is less than 5 condition is true uh, so next c in greater than greater than star of b plus i so we know that uh, b points to 1000 memory location here uh, b value never changes b will be at 1000 only so star of b plus i so what is b here b means 1000 1000 plus what is i value 0 so 1000 plus 0 means 1000 so the element which we entered will be stored at star 1000 so this is nothing but 1000 address so 1000 address value means 10 will be stored here let us assume that next we enter 20 so i plus plus i will become 1 so 1 is less than 5 condition is true so the next element which we entered will be stored at star of b plus i so b means 1000 
Whereas what is i now? Now i value is one. So thousand plus one means thousand plus one means thousand two. Thousand plus one means the corresponding uh, element should be stored at the next element memory location. The next element memory location is thousand two. So star of thousand two. So twenty will be stored at thousand two memory location. Next i plus plus. Now i will become two. I will become two. So b plus two. Thousand plus two. So the next element will be stored at star of thousand plus two. So this is the memory location thousand. Thousand plus two means two memory locations. It will go far more. So first memory location thousand two. Next memory location thousand four. So thirty will be stored here. Next forty will be stored here. Next fifty will be stored here. Next i will become six. Six is less than five. Condition is false. So the control comes out from the far loop. Next to see, see out less than less than array elements are. Here we have entered five elements. Next that message will get printed. Array elements are for i is equal to zero, i less than five. So zero is less than five. Condition is true. C out less than less than star of b plus i. So what is the value of b? B will be always at thousand memory location only. So thousand plus zero. So first thousand value will get printed. What is the value at thousand ten? Next i plus plus i will become one. One less than five. Condition is true. So C out less than less than star of b plus i. B value thousand. I value one. Thousand plus one means next element memory location. That is thousand two. Thousand two value twenty gets printed. Next i plus plus i will become two. Two less than five. Condition true. C out less than less than star of b value thousand. I value two. So thousand plus two means this thousand four. So thirty will gets printed. Forty will gets printed. Fifty will gets printed. Then after that value of y is here y is nothing but uh, a normal uh, variable, normal pointer variable. So what is the value of y? Fifty will gets printed. Next here uh, we have released memory for y as well as we have destroyed memory for b. Here b is nothing but an array variable. So if you want we can use a square bracket also. Delete left square bracket, right square bracket b. So the memory for b was released as well as the memory for y was released. So now uh, we can use us that memory for storing uh, some other variables. So this is about memory management operators or uh, new and delete operators in C++ programming language.